What's up everybody, I'm Cindy Goodman, and today's fix, the first major PS5 update is here, details on Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade, and some classic Ubisoft games will lose multiplayer. Roll the thing! <laughs> The ever-elusive PS5 gets its first major update tomorrow, and it brings enhancements to storage, social features, and control and personalization options. Something for everyone! Well, everyone who snagged a PS5. Sorry. As revealed on the PlayStation blog, the PS5 April update will allow players to store PS5 games on a USB expanded storage device, share gameplay across PS5 and PS4 consoles with SharePlay, and access a new trophy settings and stats screen. Going forward, PS5 games downloaded to the internal SSD can be moved to compatible external USB drives. However, this is more of a space-saving measure than a permanent storage solution since PS5 games still can't be played off USB drives. That means the games have to be moved back onto the PS5's SSD before you can play them. But considering the relatively small size of the internal SSD and the need to free up space for new games, this solve is still faster than doing the delete and re-download tango that some have become accustomed to. Sony notes that some games will support the ability to move only specific modes across drives, which I love. That means if the game supports it, once you finish the campaign, you can move that to the USB storage and keep multiplayer on your SSD. As for that promised M.2 drive support that Sony has been talking about since before the console launched, the blog simply says Sony will keep you posted. Okay. As for social features, cross-generation share play has been added. This means PS5 users can now share their game screen with friends on PS4 while in a voice party. This allows other players to try out PS5 games by passing the virtual controller. Since share play is now cross-generational, you could let a friend on PS4 try out Astro's Playroom, for example. The system even allows a visitor to play co-op in certain games. So if you've been waiting to get your hands on one yourself, start buying your PS5 owning friends now. A request to join option has also been added to both PS5 and PS4 consoles in the social menus for sporty games. This allows for quicker joining of games instead of using in-game menus. And there have also been improvements to the game base menu, which lets you switch tabs between parties and friends and turn on and off notifications for specific parties. Adjustments to the audio menu allows you to completely disable in-game chat from the PS5 menu instead of using individual in-game menus, and adjust the volume of players you're talking to. But wait! There's more! A new option will now let you preload upcoming game patches, assuming the developer has enabled the feature. A new system for trophies lets you customize when images and videos are captured when you unlock a trophy. And finally, the update allows you to customize your game library and adjust the menu magnification to suit your needs. Before we move on, let me say, I am impressed with all these updates, specifically the space-saving ones. I haven't run out of space on my PS5 yet, but there's a new Warzone update on the horizon, so it might be coming soon, and this update will be very handy. For all of you out there waiting for more details on Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade, I have what you crave. Square Enix announced the new PS5 exclusive episode will be called Final Fantasy VII Remake Episode Intermission and see Yuffie attempt to steal the Shinra Electric Power Company's most powerful materia. Yuffie is a member of Wu Tai's elite core of ninja operatives, and she has a unique playstyle that allows her to throw her iconic throwing star at enemies. She's also able to attack using long range ninjutsu that can have elemental powers of fire, ice, lightning, or wind probably from all that stretching she does. Yuffie also has an ability called Banishment, which can be charged with elemental ninjutsu that will do more damage based on how much ATB was spent before it, and another called Windstorm that will create a huge gust of wind that damages nearby enemies and launches them towards her. Final Fantasy VII Remake Episode Intermission will also feature additional characters like members of Avalanche HQ. Nayo, Billy Bob, Polk, and Vice, the sadistic ruler of Shinra's top secret underground research center, Deep Ground, will also be featured in the story. Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade will be available as a free update to everyone who owns FF7 Remake on PS4 June 10th, but Yuffie's FF7R Episode Intermission will be a separate purchase. 
Ubisoft has announced that a dozen of the developer's classic games will soon lose multiplayer functionality and online services. For example, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas, Rainbow Six Lockdown, and Ghost Recon Future Soldier will all lose multiplayer and online support across all platforms on an unspecified date this year. On June 1st, eight games will see online support shut down on PC specifically. Assassin's Creed 2, Prince of Persia, Forgotten Sands, Far Cry 2, Anno 1404, Might and Magic Clash of Heroes, Splinter Cell Conviction, The Settler 7, and Might and Magic X Legacy. Not all of these games have multiplayer modes, but they'll be affected in some way by Ubisoft removing online support. According to Ubisoft, the multiplayer online services for those titles will be shut down as well as in-game news and player stats. Games with Ubisoft Connect enabled will lose that functionality as well. Players won't be able to earn Ubisoft Connect units anymore either, and Ubisoft Connect actions will be disabled too. But rewards will still be unlockable, you just won't get anything for unlocking them. But you still get a warm fuzzy feeling, just like the one you get when you finish a fix. Reward unlocked. And that was Daily Fix. I'm Sydney Goodman. I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our video on the top 10 video controllers, video game controllers, and see if you agree with our ranking. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to Daily Fix on Snapchat and for all things everything else, IGN.com.